What's up YouTube? It's Drama I'm here with a new pickup, a new review. I got two shoes in the middle today, but I'm only doing one because the sun is going down. But uh, this is a pretty nice pickup, as you see by this box. It's a Nike Plus sports pack. Uh, it's the Kobe 8. I couldn't get the Nike Plus enabled for 190 I had to get the sports pack for a lot more than that and I'm kinda sad about it but I got the shoe and I'm happy about it so um, as you can see all the all-star shoes come with that uh, area 72 highly classified technology sticker there which is cool and then um, let's take a look at the tag it's got all that Nike Plus stuff but that's not what we're here for Kobe 8 system plus sports pack all-star yeah, uh, bright citrus, sport turquoise, and total crimson. So it's the Kobe 8 All Stars. It comes with uh, all the All Star shoes come with the swoosh sandal, which is really cool. There's some cool things on there. This things like this make the shoe just better. Going beyond just the shoe, the paper that comes in it, the type of box, the sticker on the box. Things like hang tags and retro cards really makes the shoe more enjoyable. Um, it's just awesome. I like that. And it, like I said, it's a sports pack, so it comes with this Nike Plus stuff that I will be using and probably reviewing, but not with this particular shoe. There are the two chips. I'll be using it in my uh, LeBron 10 Pressures. So, um, let's get into the shoe. Boom! Kobe 8 All-Stars. Now, do I like this better than the Kobe 7 All-Stars? Uh, no. But do I like the Kobe 8 better than the Kobe 7? By a long shot. Uh, this shoe is kind of like a, takes cues from like a gassy planet like Jupiter. Uh, some people call it the Pizza Slices. <laughs> Which I think is funny. Uh, or the Cheetos. Uh, I like to think, think creamsicle, because I like creamsicles more than uh, Cheetos and pizza. So, yeah. Anyways, here's some close-ups on the shoe. And uh, let's start with the bottom. It's like a total crimson bottom. It is trans translucent. It's like a really deep translucent, but it's a translucent sole. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's a white head with the... Citrus, Citrus Kobe logo. But my favorite part about this shoe is the laces. That total turquoise, it's a real nice color. Here's the, uh, this is different because um, the tongue, it's a different little logo and it's hard. You won't be able to hear it. I hear that? It's harder. On the other Kobe 8s, it's, it's got a snake going around and it's not hard like that. So this is like a little plastic piece they put on there, which is a, pretty cool and it's a different Kobe logo as you can see it's got some alien uh, petroglyphs or uh, you know symbols on there which is cool like he did instead of a all-star galaxy theme or uh, you know space theme they did like these shoes were designed by aliens which is what it says on the Swoosh Sentinel like uh, it has increased spike uh, basketball performance could it be the shoes and aliens are designing the shoes so you know it's Pretty cool. That's a pretty cool take on it. It's a little bit more gimmicky than just the Galaxy, but it, it, it is cool. It has its perks, you know. For example, like here's a swoosh with some alien uh, symbols or whatever. And also on the big swoosh, which is just a pretty cool touch. And it's also got that hard feel. It's kind of like put on there and not fused. The swoosh isn't fused onto there like other Kobe 8 models. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, here's some more close-ups of this shoe. It's a pretty, pretty bright shoe, I have to say, especially this right here, which is looks like a alien skin right there. Really bright, especially the back of this shoe. It's super bright. And I, this is my favorite part of all Kobe shoes, the heel cup. It's white there. And then on the back, as you can see, it has a full Kobe logo. They probably didn't want to make socks for it, that's why. So, uh... They made the full one. The, the regular Kobe 8's just have two lines and then you wear the socks and it completes this logo. This one it just has the full logo. They were like, screw it. <laughs> but uh, the midsole is a little bit different. It's kind of sandpapery as you can see right there. 
Um, I don't know how that's going to last, but there's that. That's a little difference there. And then you got that carbon fiber. Uh, this is more for style than, you know, actually wearing on the court. Because, like I said, it's a little bit heavier because they use things like this. And they the tongue is a little bit different. Um, so they weren't able to fuse the swoosh onto there. So it's more of a fashion shoe. But you could definitely ball in these if you want. And the crazy part about this shoe is... Let me take out the insole. Mmm. Yeah. Boom. It's got that Nike Plus stuff enabled. And the thing is, the Kobe 8 is a Lunar Launch shoe. It's a Lunar Launch midsole. But this one has a zoom pack on the heel, which I'm surprised no one has talked about that because that's a significant upgrade. Not It's just not all Lunar Launch. It's also got a heel zoom on there. So... I don't know if that's going to be in future Kobe models or what, but people have been raving about the Lunar Lawn technology in the Kobe 8, and they put a zoom pack on the on the heel, which is uh, interesting. I don't know if you guys uh, knew that. So that's another difference from this shoe to the Kobe 8, um, regular editions or whatever. And also, I love this part of the shoe right there, NSP KB24. It's got a... Snake wrapping around a planet that's the same, you know, design as the upper here, which is pretty cool. So let's check these out on feet. Uh, these uh, shoes are pretty bright. I actually haven't put these on feet. So what you're seeing right there is in the future from where I am right at this moment. But let me go get something right real fast while you check these things out on feet. I'm back. I hope you like the on feet, but I got these too. And I remember in my last video I said I was on the fence about the LeBron 10. Well, I'm not on that fence anymore because these are freaking awesome. Uh, so I will not be selling these. Sorry for everyone who was uh, interested. Uh, but I'm not selling those. I'm keeping those. That's my next video that I'll make tomorrow or Thursday. You know, I'm, I got school and work, so I got to find time to do it. But. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Remember, subscribe on the su subscribe because I I'm always picking up shoes and I always got reviews and, and and things like that. Um, shout out to my friend at this point of view. Go get him some followers. He he's got great pictures on Instagram, even if they're just Roshi runs. <laughs> but he loves his Roshi runs. So if you love Roshi runs, go check out at this point of view. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Comment, like, subscribe. You don't have to, but it'd be nice if you did. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Peace.